Hey friends, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new year, and I am feeling... pensive, actually. Drex here from Drex Factor Poi, sharing with you the love of poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain, and today, I'm being a little bit reflective after crossing over into the new year and wanted to share some thoughts and get a conversation started. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow DNA, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Juggling Calling, Pyroterra Light Toys, Spinballs, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these amazing companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. And a special thanks to the first non-business friend of the channel, Johnny Howard. Thanks so much for your support, Johnny. So. This is not the video I thought I was going to upload today. Um, I know I've been saying that a lot lately, but um, I actually did have a plan for uh, a video that I did want to do today that I actually fully scripted out. And when push came to shove, I realized that I wanted to do something else first. See, I feel like 2021 was kind of a lot. Um, I don't think I'm the only one who felt that way. You know, I had a lot go on in my world talked about a lot of controversial topics, and also had some pretty incredible breakthroughs with Poi. You know, the video that I did about 3 to 1 caps is probably the biggest breakthrough I've had in tech Poi theory in close to a decade. It felt really good to do that, and at the same time, it was also kind of exhausting because it pulled together so many pieces that have been a part of my Poi journey since the very beginning. And by the same token, I feel like 2021 was probably the most personal year I've ever done in terms of videos. In a lot of cases, throughout most of my channel's history, I actively avoided talking about controversial issues unless there was something that I absolutely felt compelled to talk about. That all changed last year, and I wound up becoming a lot more personal as a result of it. I wound up being a lot more honest and talking a lot more about the noise that goes on in my head with people. And me personally, I think that was a good thing. It also earned me a bunch of pushback from the Poi community, which uh, was not unexpected. Anytime you kind of pivot a little bit or uh, shift tracks, there are always going to be people that are upset that the thing that they're expecting didn't exactly happen. And by the same token, I had a lot of challenges with my Poi spinning itself. You know, I really wanted to choreograph a full piece like I had two years before and I started on it, but I just didn't have the time and energy to finish it by the end of the year, and that, that kind of makes me sad. And there's also a poi trick that I've been working on now for the better part of a year and a half that, you know, to be perfectly frank with you, every single time I think I've made a breakthrough on it, I also discover that there's another piece to it that requires me to drill a skill that I don't have down. So yeah, all told, 2021 was kind of a frustrating year on a lot of different levels. But it was also a really rewarding year. I think that in a lot of cases, when we get through those troubling times, it can help us get to a point where we realize looking back on things, hey, I had a lot to learn as a result of that. So as we jump into 2022, I have lots of ideas for places that I want to go. I've already got a queue of videos that I want to shoot. I've got at least a couple scripts written that I can't wait to get to. And, you know, I've got no shortage of ideas for things that I can do to help you all in your flow journey. But here's the thing. I feel like what's missing from that part of the planning is hearing from you all. Like, here's the thing is, I have all kinds of things that I'm inspired to tackle, all kinds of things that I'm super interested in making videos on, and all kinds of things that I can't wait to teach you. But that is only so helpful if it's stuff that is going to be helpful to all of you. And honestly, this kind of goes to the heart of something that I've wondered about for a long time with my channel in that, you know, am I a servant that brings you all the things that help you get from point A to point B that just essentially works to conduct you between all of your different goals? Or is it a case that y'all turn to me to kind of figure out what you should be learning for guidance in how you should set your goals? That y'all put your faith in me of like, oh, if this is what Drex says comes next, this is what Drex says comes next. And not knowing that sometimes it makes it difficult for me to choose which direction to go in next. So I have a favor to ask. I wanna start a conversation with you all. 
I want to know, what are your goals for 2022 with Poi, with Flow Arts, with your lives in general, with Flow Culture? Is there a new prop that you want to learn? Is there a new trick that you want to get to? Do you want to break out of the doldrums of, you know, the tricks that you already know? Do you want to make a breakthrough in a particular type or paradigm of trick? Is there something about the flow community that is either helping you out or holding you back that you'd like to break through? I would love to know. So here's how you can help me out. Down in the comments, I want you to tell me what it is you want out of 2022 from a flow perspective. Um, do you want to feel more connected with this community? Do you want to finally learn that trick that you've had on the back burner for a couple years? Do you want to get to a greater understanding of how Poi works in the first place and how all the different pieces fit together? You know, is the, if, if you could have an hour of my time to sit down and grill me on anything, what would it be? Leave me a comment and let me know. And have no fear, I still have no shortage of topics that I want to tackle, but getting your input on all this is going to be helpful to me in terms of figuring out how to prioritize those things and what I should make room for. Sometimes y'all give me ideas that I don't see coming and it's really, really helpful for me to keep that in mind. And by the same token, of course, this is my channel. I have the ultimate say in what happens on it next and have no fear, there are still some directions that I want to nudge people in. But for the time being, yeah, I'm really curious what's out there. I feel more disconnected from the community than I have in a very, very long time, partially because of COVID and we've just all kind of been siloed off in our own unique uh, different pockets of the world. Um, but also because I feel like a lot of the controversial issues that I've dove into in the past year have also been things that, you know, were topics around the flow community that we've been needing to discuss for a very long time. And I'm not really sure where people are sitting out there on a lot of those topics. So consider this your invitation. Help me figure out what the direction of this channel is going to be in 2022. Make your voice heard. Let me know how I can help you. And in the meantime, I will keep my scripting. I will keep my uh, ideas flowing and hopefully see if we can mesh up on a few of them. You wanna help me out in this? Please leave a like, comment, share so other people can find it and make sure that I get as many voices in this conversation as possible. Thank you. And of course, a huge thank you because this video would not be possible without the kind support of these amazing people right here. These are my Flow patrons over on Patreon and they, along with the people listed down in the description, help to make this video and all the videos on this channel possible. Um, if you would like to help me out in my mission to bring flow arts and poise spinning to the wider world and help people connect with their brains and their bodies as creative individuals, you can do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and signing up. Doing that helps keep the channel alive and it helps me keep on creating content for people all over the world. Go take a look, check out some of the rewards, and uh, hopefully uh, you have reason to sign up. Please and thank you. All right, but no, really, I will be back to regular videos here uh, coming up on Wednesday. I just wanted to take a moment to do this check-in, which uh, I apologize that it is less formal than my usual videos are. I hope you don't mind just sitting and chilling in my living room here with me. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you all so much in advance for your input here. Uh, I will go ahead and leave a link to some other vlogs that I've done, a playlist of them down in the description as well as up on screen if you're watching on YouTube. Happy New Year, everybody. Let's make 2022 a better one than 2021, shall we? Awesome. Glad you're on the same page. I will, uh, I, I, I will uh, see you soon. Peace.